what's up guys? You probably know by now I'm a huge fan of DeWalt tools and I'm super stoked for this video because they just sent me a whole lineup of their next generation Empower tools which aren't limited by cords or power outlets anymore. So we jumped in the car and took a road trip to the southern Utah desert, miles away from civilization, so we can put these things to the test and show you what they can do. Now on our way here, we rented a truck and picked up a whole bundle of lumber because I'm really truly curious to see how much lumber we can cut on one single charge. And out here in the desert, far away from civilization, there's no other source of electricity. But I don't wanna cut these things on the ground, so let's get busy building ourselves a makeshift workbench first. So it's really as simple as taking some wood screws, fastening some 2x4s together and building a sturdy surface where we can start ripping wood and do some run tests to see how much mileage we can get on one charge. Should have been a gymnast. <laughs> and building this workbench was a really good chance for me to test out the DeWalt FlexVolt battery because I swapped it between the miter saw to the drill driver and to the circular saw and it worked flawlessly and completely as advertised. Here's the basic idea of how it works. You got your drill driver that works on 20 volts. You pop the DeWalt FlexVolt battery out and put it into your circular saw. This thing runs on 60 volts and the battery automatically switches voltages, so you're immediately good to go. But now you need to power your miter saw that runs on 120 volts. Just stick your battery in it. It doubles up to create 120 volts and there are no cords, so it's completely portable. It's actually pretty amazing technology. So our workbench is finished, our tools are set, and I've got two DeWalt FlexVolt batteries that were freshly charged this morning. So how much wood can we cut on one charge? We're about to find out. All right, quick update guys, our table saw has just stopped, which I'm assuming means the battery has just died. Now we got 10 two by fours cut, and each of them were eight feet long. That means we've cut 80 linear feet of inch and a half thick two by four. Let's throw on one more battery, do one more run, and see if the test results come out the same. All right guys, just finished our second run. That one was a little bit better. We got 12 and a half boards ripped. Remember this is inch and a half, I'm doing it by myself. For this next round, let's get Mark helping me out so we can just funnel these things through and see how many we can do as a team. All right guys, so we actually ripped three different rounds with three different full charge batteries and the results were pretty consistent. The first one, we ripped 10 boards on one charge. The second time, I got 12 and a half and then with teamwork, we got 14 and three quarters, so almost 15 boards. So I think the first round was a little bit lower due to the learning curve. It took me to catch onto this, but you can see they progressively get better. These two by fours are an inch and a half thick, so that's a lot of wood to rip through and to be able to get between 12 and 14 consistently, I think is pretty awesome. Let's move on to the miter saw next. It takes two batteries. How many cuts can we make before those batteries die? How long can this keep going? Oh yeah, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> And there it goes, it finally died guys. 448 cuts. This little miter saw totally exceeded my expectations and now we've got wood everywhere. So what are we gonna do with all this wood? There's only one thing that I can think of and that's to light it up, King of Random style. We're just about there, this is what we've been waiting for. Wow, that got hot fast. Wasn't quite the dramatic explosion I was going for, but it got the job done. That is an epic bonfire. Here we go.
Whoa, a GoPro overheated. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. So there you have it guys, that's the new DeWalt Flexvolt system. The power of corded, the freedom of cordless. And if you wanna try these for yourself, you can go check them out at flexvolt.dewalt.com. I'll put a link down in the description. So there you go, that's what happens when you give a guy cordless power tools and send them out into the desert. Hey, thanks for joining me for this video. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Oh no, the quad caught here. <laughs>